Hello friends, today I will be discussing about the Paget's disease of the nipple. Paget's disease of the nipple is an eczematoid lesion of the nipple. Here you can see it is an it is like an just an eczema. And most of the time the Paget's disease of the nipple is often associated with invasive and non-invasive ductal carcinoma of the breast. Now sometimes the patient will present uh, with some uh, palpable subareolar mass along with the crusted lesions in the nipple. There are some lesions you can see here in the diagram. In the Paget's disease, sometimes if you palpate the patient's nipple, there will be a subareolar mass. And if the subareolar mass is present, it indicates that the patient is having infiltrating ductal carcinoma also. Now, if the subareolar mass is not palpable, I mean the uh, palpable mass is not present, then the patient will have ductal carcinoma in situ. Now, about the prognosis, uh, Paget's disease have very much worst prognosis, very bad prognosis. Why? Because the estrogen receptor, although the estrogen receptor is negative, ERPR, I mean estrogen receptor, PR receptor, estrogen ERPR is negative, are negative, both the receptor are negative, but uh, HER, human epidermal receptor is positive. So uh, whenever we know that H, if, uh, some, if any breast cancer having HER positive, that will be having very much worst prognosis. Now, here you can see uh, one thing, the nipple morphologically, the gross appearance, the nipple is ulcerated and crusted and there are also some fissure, fissure present. So you can write in gross morphological feature as ulcerated, crusted and fissured and there will be oozing from the nipple, there will be discharge and that is the oozing of serosanguinous fluid which means there will be serous fluid discharge of serous fluid or bloody discharge from the nipple these are the clinical features and also morphological appearance you can write them in the morphological appearance also now there are two hypotheses i mean two hypotheses are given for the pathogenesis of Paget's disease of nipple these two hypotheses are first of all the first hypothesis says that the tumor cells here you can see the tumor cells from the underlying ductal carcinoma have migrated up into the lactiferous duct and invaded the epidermis producing skin lesions. Now here you can uh, understand through this diagram. Uh, it is the epidermis. This is the surface. Uh, I am explaining the first hypothesis that there are, there is a ductal carcinoma. There is an underlying ductal carcinoma. Here from the underlying ductal carcinoma, the tumor cells have migrated up have migrated up into the lactiferous duct. They have migrated up into the lactiferous duct and invaded, after migrating up into the lactiferous duct, they have invaded the epidermis producing the skin lesions. They have invaded all the epidermis producing skin lesions. Here you can see the basement membrane. The basement membrane is intact and the below part is the stroma. You can imagine the first hypothesis from this diagram itself that the tumor cells from the underlying ductal carcinoma have migrated up into the lactiferous duct and invaded the epidermis producing skin lesions. Now the second hypothesis is that uh, it is an alternate theory and it is less reliable. The second hypothesis is less reliable. Though we should know, the second hypothesis says that the Paget's disease it itself is a form of a ductal carcinoma. There is no migration. It uh, it is uh, itself is a ductal carcinoma in situ of the epidermis. There is no migration from the ductal underlying ductal carcinoma. Now let us discuss about the histological features. The histology in the histological diagram you can see that the tumor cells are larger, right? Here you can see the epidermal tumor cells, intraepidermal tumor cells. These are very much large and they are pale. Pale and there is a halo. You can see in the, in the cytoplasm there is a halo. Cytoplasmic halo. And this cytoplasmic halo is very much important in, in each individual cells. 
first of all we should know that there will be some cleft like lesion in the epidermis cleft like lesion in which there will be uh, will be presence of tumor cells they are, they are called intra epidermal tumor cells and the tumor cells now let us discuss about the individual tumor cells the individual tumor cells will having a hyperchromatic nuclei you can see that nuclei individual tumor cells having hyperchromatic nuclei and cytoplasmic halo intracytoplasmic halo and this cytoplasmic halo is important because this stains with mucic carmine this cytoplasmic halo stains positively with mucic carmine and uh, there will be some presence of lymphocytic infiltrate so this is the explanation of paget's disease of nipple thank you